go crude oil. Here's what we got going on this morning. We are in an active trade right now. Beautiful setup this morning. Here's the uh, here's what we're looking at. It's caught the wrongly positioned traders three times in a row now. It's three for three. Right there's your active trade right now that is a viable setup because the wrongly positioned traders got caught right here. They got caught earlier for you early morning traders. They got caught here. And they got caught right before that also. So first target off on the first target right now, the runner is running. So beautiful looking setup because we had market profile that actually confirmed this setup right here at 5960. That blue line, what that blue line represents is that's all the volume coming in the market. That's the most volume that's traded with all the algorithms, all the hedge funds, all the prop firms, amateur, professional traders, banks, etc. That blue line is extremely, extremely accurate, uh, accurate on an, my time frame. I don't use a standard 30-minute time frame. This is a longer time frame. It's extremely accurate with trend. If you are trending down on your trend filter, then if you retest that blue level, it is a huge inflection point. It's probably going to roll the market over because that is the most volume that's traded, otherwise known as the control point. So not only did we have wrongly positioned traders coming in when an opposite color candle came in on the trend chart here, that's a trade setup you see over here that's running right now. Not only do we have a green bars that printed that tells us we have counter trend traders coming in the market or wrongly positioned traders. We're looking for the next setup on the next swing up. It came into beautiful resistance right at the control point. Now, the beautiful thing about it is, is we had negative market delta, and it was huge. Another negative market delta had a lazy M top right there. Look at this negative market delta, negative 335. On yesterday's trade, where I had called the top to look for a short, we had a 600 market delta. The run up had over 350 market delta. Anything over 200 is a major sell imbalance. So not only did we hit the control point at this level, it was a negative 335. Also, that thin line, that's an indecision candle. We'd like to see indecision candles at reversals. If you see an indecision candle, negative 335, you can enter the trade, put your stop loss two ticks above the swing high, and you're good to go. If you want to use if you want to use the MA to pull yourself in, M tops, you will get stopped out of M tops. You'll have to re-enter on M tops. If you just want to use market delta when it closes red or green, your stop loss is two ticks above the swing. Making it easy. That's the trade we got going on right now. You can see we had a nice little sell-off in the market as we speak. But I like that indecision candle with mar negative market delta, negative 335, that is a huge sell imbalance right at the key market profile. The control point, remember, if you're in a downtrend, look at my MAs. We don't use moving averages for crossover systems, etc. If it retests that blue control point, you have a sell setup. So not only did we have wrongly position traders coming in, opposite color bar, you also have 
Mark Adelta firing you in the trade. And that's a setup we got rolling right now for a continuation pattern. So you can see, this is what we got rolling right rolling for us. And that was a control point right there. Most volume that's traded. So once you see the what we try to do in the trade room is we try, there's only two setups. There's a retracement setup where you get opposite color candles. Remember, these filters already got these, these candles have the filters built into them already. They have supply demand filters in them. So if I see a green candle go against the overall trend of the move, I know that I'm trying to catch this next swing high on a retracement trade. It educates me that I'm catching the wrongly positioned traders. Okay. So that will let you know. You, you can adjust it there, Mac. You can adjust your screen for, for previews. That lets you know to catch the wrong position traders when you get an opposite color candle that comes in and it worked again this morning so we had several setups here this morning back-to-back -back setups just catching the wrongly positioned traders now momentum setup will be a little bit different a retracement trade a retracement trade is when we have opposite color candle comes in you're trying to catch a swing. What a momentum trade. So this is a retracement trade. That's a retracement trade. There's only two setups we look at. Momentum trade, retracement trade. So that's a retracement trade. The other trade setup we have, what if we never get an opposite color candle come in? What if the market is too weak and we never get an opposite color candle come in to come in to show we have wrongly positioned traders in the market? What if that happens? So that's a retracement trade we got rolling right now with the runner. What happens is if I'm all red bars all the way down, if I'm just printing red bars, remember the candles have a supply demand filter built into them already. It's not a standard Rinko bar. Once that candle prints, it lets you know you have net sellers and net buyers. It's not a standard Rinko for open versus close. It has nothing to do with it. This has a supply-demand indicator built into it. That's a unique thing about a Rinko bar. So when I get red candles, red, 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 no green, right, red. And I see the distance of the red open versus close, it farther apart from my smaller MA, I know I got what's called a momentum trade that comes in then. And that's what this is. This is where I want a Fibonacci arrow to fire. I want a Fibonacci arrow to fire called a Momo trade or momentum trade. These are fast and furious and with very small stop because if the arrow prints, once the arrow prints, if negative red negative market delta confirms, which it did, I'll show you. And that tells you right there at that swing that you have a momentum trade, or I call a Momo trade. We've been doing this ever since we opened the room, and it is a beauty trade. So there's only two setups you need to know in trading right there with my system. A retracement trade, when you get the wrongly positioned opposite color candle comes in, I'm trying to catch the next swing. Use market delta to guide you in. Market delta called the high, negative 300. Market delta over 300. Stop loss two ticks above the swing high. I do have a small MA on there if you want confirmation that we're rolling over. And there's a momentum trade. If you're all red and you never turn green, then you wait for it to tick and shabar, tick, 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 tick back up. And I want to see what? I want to see a Fibonacci can I mean a Fibonacci arrow fire on my three Simrico, which is the far right chart. So what I want to see on this far right chart, which it fired right at this high, I want to see this. And it was absolutely beautiful. Right there. That's when I touched my smaller MA 
on the retracement. That swing touched a smaller MA on the retracement chart. Once you close an opposite color candle, I mean a, a red candle, not red candle, I'm sorry, red arrow. This is an M top also. Once you so now look at this. Here's my two indecision bars, a nice straight line. That called the high. That called the high. Just like my last one right here. Remember I just said the indecision bar. This is where it's called the high at the control point. Look how, how pretty that is. Indecision bar right here on my retracement trade. I had a retracement trade here called the swing high. Pulled in with market delta. And look at my arrows that fired over here on my momentum trades called the high. All you need to do is have patience and discipline with the system. My Fibonacci arrows will let you know if it's a momentum trade when it retraces to my small MA. My retracement will let you know when you're doing that. Now, you see when these other arrows come up, you are not retracing to what? You don't trade these arrows. You weren't retracing to the smaller MA. You weren't touching it in your bar. What does that mean? I don't have a deep enough retracement on a momentum trade. So what do you do? You avoid. This one touched the MA. So did this one. Okay? So remember, the easy way for the stops in, if you get a momentum trade, easy way to do it, two ticks above the swing high. Two ticks above the swing high over here. Easy way to do it. If you want confirmation, you can use the MA off the market delta. I just want to see negative market delta at these inflection points when these arrows fire. So if I look at market delta at that point in time, it nailed this high over here on my retracement trade. And then also my momentum trades. Oops, mouse is kind of fast here. Look at this. There's your M top. Did I have over 200? Sure did. Negative 221, huge selling balance. On the M top, negative 200, anything over 200. I keep telling traders over and over again, anything over 200 is a major imbalance on crude. Caught the high. So if you notice, market delta caught the two Fibonacci arrows that fired on the momentum trade over 200 selling balance, and it also caught over 200 on the retracement trade. There's the only two setups you need to understand in the trading room on any market, any given day of the week. That's what I want. I want to see a negative selling bounce right here. You see this? See this right here? See that pause in the market? This is an, in, this is an indecision bar. Do I have over a 200 market delta? Yep, negative 206. What are they trying to do? They're trying to market the market down. What are they do right here? They got rolling position traders coming in. They try to counter it back up. Here, negative 377. Another good spot. You can see where they're trying to do. Negative 215, another good spot where they're trying to mark the market down. Look how they just try to keep marking the market down on this move. Negative 187 right here, pretty close to 200 on that retracement, trying to mark the market down. So you can see negative 312 on this one. Huge selling bounce right there, trying to mark the market down. That was an M top, lazy M right after the indecision bar. So you can see how Mark and Delta is so important to your trading for confirmation of your trend chart or market profile. I could just use market profile and my trend chart with Market Delta even without Fibonacci arrows and do very, very well in any given market. Because what I want to see is I want to see a seller buy imbalance at a retracement.
I already know what a retracement looks like on the trend chart, offset color candle, and I already know what the momentum looks like if it's retesting that small MA. So if it does that and I get negative market delta, and it's over 200 on crude, then I'm going to try to position myself in the market short. That's how we use market delta. Anything over 200 is a major selling bounce on crude. You must understand that. It, uh, my line already, I have an indecision bar right here. This is an indecision candle. Two big indecisions on the way down. My momentum trade had two indecision bars here. Or the one on the lazy M right there, the M top. I had it right here. I'm sorry. I love indecision bars with negative market delta. They really, really work well if you get negative market delta at inflection points, indecision bars. That's a thin line. You'll see it. It's not a red candle. It's not a green candle. I call it an indecision bar because the buyers and sellers are balanced. And if you are on a retracement and you're in a downtrend and the buyers and sellers get balanced, it lets you know that if you get negative market Della on a balanced bar and it's in a downtrend, they are trying to mark the market down. If we're in an uptrend, vice versa, if the market's moving up, And I see a neg if I see a balance right here, if I see it's that simple. Do not make this difficult. 